guys, welcome back. Uh, I apologize if there is a little bit of wind noise. It is pretty windy today, but we are outside. Uh, today is a huge, massive day, big announcement. Uh, we're gonna be shifting gears a little bit from the normal truck work uh, to get some work done outside on the property. Now, you guys have heard me mention multiple, multiple times about a new future building here. That's why we had all of the site work done, all of the wall. Well, we have uh, pretty much sealed the deal on the new building. Uh, the new building will be starting in roughly about two to three weeks. Uh, there's a lot of kind of like prep work around some of that uh, that needs to be done uh, beforehand before they get started uh, along with all moving all of these vehicles. Um, so today is the start of that. So uh, you guys follow me pretty much through every part of my life. I try to bring you guys along with every step of the way. Uh, this is a little bit different, like I said, from the normal truck work we probably will still have some of that in between some of these videos but today is the start of a little bit of prep work for the new building today we are gonna try to do something right along here uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some uh, wall options we're gonna do like a little mini wall right here to kind of get that slope away from the side of this building so new building is coming I am super pumped I'm super excited uh, it should be awesome we're not gonna get into the details of the new building today we are gonna go tow with the 08 so if you guys have been following along this truck should make somewhere close to about 800 horsepower today is gonna be the first day that we are gonna hook up to the gooseneck and use the 08 and see if you can see see how towing on 800 horsepower uh, really is so it should be interesting we're gonna go pick up a machine we're gonna go stop and look at some block. Uh, it's just gonna be an interesting day. So hopefully you guys uh, stay tuned through the, uh, let's call it the Dream Shop Project. Uh, it is going to be awesome. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself, but I'm so excited for the new building. Uh, it's gonna be, I don't even know how many times this, is three times the size of the building that we're in now. Um, so it should be awesome. So those guys are gonna start uh, in, like I said, about two, three weeks. So we got a lot of projects around here to get ready for that. Go build a wall. We We're going to build a wall. Get in. We are hooked up, ready to go. Michael, did you uh, did you bring the most necessary thing of today? Earmuffs. <laughs> no, no, no muffler life. It's about to be loud in here. Do you want your mirror flipped up? No, 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 no toe mirrors required here. Only on the dueling. Only on the big hits.
I said you wanted a towing test. Here's the towing test. <laughs> successfully made it back to the house uh, the luckily the block place is really only maybe 10 minutes down the road uh, so we uh, we made it home uh, as far as the uh, the truck uh, obviously she's uh, she's still in one piece she did great uh, according to my guesstimations it's a little over I would say about 20,000 pounds uh, definitely can tell that it's back there as far as uh, having 80% over injectors 472 turbo uh, we left the tuning on five uh, just to kind of see what it would do you can definitely uh, get it hot if you want to if you kind of aren't feathering the throttle uh, I would say EGTs as far as what I saw uh, about 11 1200 if I really really was trying to get it moving quicker than it needed but slow and steady uh, wins the race I mean most of the time it was in that thousand thousand range technically uh, we should probably turn the tuning down that would probably really really help if you were gonna actually use the truck and tow with it all the time now I really wouldn't recommend uh, this setup for towing all the time but uh, the truck did did really really well um, especially we were we were kind of taking it slow obviously you can uh, see how well we uh, strapped that down seeing that it was you know 10 minutes down the road um, everything is in one piece so all of the block here's the block that we went with got some caps and then we got seven pallets of uh, stone so yeah <laughs> uh, definitely definitely got a little little a uh, little bit of a job ahead of us uh, but got the material knocked out out of the way and uh, we're gonna unload it real quick and then go pick up uh, go pick up the machine Frank the fork truck coming in clutch hey don't I got her I got her unstrapped for you she's unstrapped ready to go <laughs> block unloaded we are headed off to now go grab the machine I forgot to say it before uh, probably put about 50 60 pounds of air in the bags uh, to compensate for the weight so that seems to be seem to be good so no uh, no issues there so we're gonna let out the air now really should probably get a uh, get a full system on this thing so we don't have to keep doing it manually like that but uh, probably may have to put some air in the bags but should be able to keep the weight pretty far back but so far so good we don't want to have a rock in anybody's windshield
think I mentioned just a little bit before I go, but we're gonna go over the setup on it again. Uh, we just so we just got done driving. We're almost home with the uh, skid steer on it. The skid steer, what'd you say, is about seven thousand pounds. Yep. Uh, let's just call the trailer ten for for whatever sake. So we're at seventeen. The last load, the last load, we went really really slow, but that was more around like twenty one, twenty two. Uh, but we didn't strap anything down. This one's strapped down. So we and we went on the highway. The highway is a little bit of a better test. So. For those of you guys who have not seen the previous videos, go back and go back and watch the whole playlist. But uh, engine setup wise is a 472-8710, so it's got the big turbine in it. Uh, SNS 80% over injectors, uh, fleece 10 mil pump. Uh, so that's pretty much like fuel and air. Uh, it's got a Hamilton uh, straight head, big valves, uh, stock long block. Uh, supporting mods, bunch of fleece supporting mods, but um, me and Michael were just kind of like talking about it and I figured it might kind of like help you guys a little bit. I mean, again, I, I would not recommend anyone who's towing a lot of weight with this setup, uh, especially again, like I said, we're on, we're on tune five on this thing. Uh, it can get hot very quick, like just on the highway, uh, six gear, just cruising, rolling into it. Uh, you can get up to 12, 1300 degrees relatively, relatively quickly. So um, I think one of the biggest things is if you guys have never driven a larger sized S400, you know that they take a little bit to drive. Um, you gotta learn how to drive them. Also, I think one of the biggest key takeaway points Again, sorry, we haven't been filming in here because of how loud it is, but if this truck was not a manual transmission truck, I wouldn't even try to tow even what we're towing with it on here. I think that, uh, you know, you would just be getting a lot of stuff hot trying to tow this much uh, with this big of a charger setup on here. The bigger turbine, again, geared more in the horsepower rather than practicality, but uh, again, is doable. I think it's great. I have driven a lot of different bigger setups. You just kind of know where to keep it in its happy zone, like RPM is your friend uh, in this case. So uh, we can kind of keep the temps manageable even with the higher tuning with our right foot and RPM in the right gear. An automatic would be a little bit more difficult to try and um, kind of control everything all at one time. Is that uh, is that worded uh, worded relatively correctly? Yep. You also have a camshaft in there too. You ever... Yep. Hamilton uh, 178 cam in here. Like right here, like we can we can downshift. We can keep it higher RPM. Higher RPM is is helping this thing breathe uh, and and again just be be in its happy zone. Uh, I forget if there's anything else I'm. Uh, I'm missing. T, it's a T4 steed speed. Um, Banks intercooler. Banks uh, Banks taking care of all the air stuff. Um, but I personally really, really enjoy towing with this much power if you can kind of keep that when the trailer is empty. So let's just say we go from 17,000 just down to 10,000. Maybe your trailer's a lot lighter. Maybe your load's a lot lighter. Me, even, even just going down another 7,000 pounds it feels like, it feels really, really good. Again, can still get hot, but uh, just depends on how much you're really towing. I think this is a pretty good, I feel like this is a pretty heavy towing test for this much power. What do you think? It said, it said well, it's, how many people are gonna, what's the percentage of people that tow this heavy? I think it's kind of the. Yeah, I mean, I think the, 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 the niche people who wanna, Realistic. I mean, and again, realistically, uh, we don't have our CSP5 switch in it, but most people, we're just trying to show like, I don't know if you want to call it worst case, but uh, best case fun scenario, like would you really want to tow with this much power? Like, that's what we're showing. Most people would maybe probably try and turn that down into the 6, 650 uh, range if you're going to tow this heavy. So, but again, I might just, I might, I might pair you know, depending on automatic and what you're doing, you know, a little bit of a different charger setup. So the amount of people who are gonna try and tow at 800 horsepower this heavy, I would consider it fairly heavy. Here. 
Bobcat S175. Hey, careful, there's a couple trucks back there. <laughs> we, set, we set up an obstacle course for you. It's still a little windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, just a little clarification because I know you guys are going to ask. We did not buy the skid steer. It's not ours. Uh, it's, it's one of Michael's buddies, JT's. So he's letting us borrow it for this project. Uh, so it's a pretty, I would consider that a pretty nice loner. Uh, so he was gracious enough to kind of uh, help us. <laughs> he's getting closer and closer to the trucks. <laughs> So, uh, me personally, uh, I have never ever, uh, you know, I will be the first one to admit I have not run a ton of equipment. Uh, I have never run a skid steer. Uh, so it's going to be a learning experience for me, but I'm, I'm pretty excited. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't love, uh, you know, machinery, equipment, all that good stuff. So, uh, it will be a tremendous, tremendous tool to help us get this job done. Uh, I feel like it's just going to be one of those things where, uh, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to go get one now, but, uh, yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of work to do. It looks a whole lot different when it's sitting, it's sitting in front of you, but, uh, super, super pumped on the 08. Like she has been awesome the entire day. It's been a blast driving it. Got some flat tires. Where would you like to put old old red? Is that should we call it old red? Do we need a new nickname? It needs this this truck needs a name. We need to name this thing ASAP. Temporary nickname as of right now is old red. Uh, that's a great question. What do, you, what do you think about like the field across the street? I mean, what? Well, guys, we didn't even make it to the frame that I thought we were gonna make it to. <laughs> Trying to rescue Old Red. We got Frank stuck. So now we gotta rescue Frank. We almost ran, almost ran old red over. All right, what do I need to do, steer? Steer that way? Oh, goodness. day in my opinion of kind of getting everything needed to kind of start that wall project get everything cleaned up outside here to get ready for uh, the new shop excited to bring you guys along with me uh, and go over all of the things that we're kind of going through with uh, everything involved with putting up a building um, there's a lot that goes into it a lot of thinking a lot of planning excited to kind of share that with you guys shops are something that I think pretty much everybody is interested in um, you know we'll go over I'm gonna try and go over pretty much every 
everything start to finish with you guys. Uh, we'll get into the building a little bit later once they kind of get started, um, what we designed, what we what we came up with. Um, so again, really excited. Uh, the 08 star of the day, towing was awesome, no issues. Um, again, take that information that we talked about in the beginning as far as setup wise, how much you're towing, how much power, all of that stuff. Um, so anyway, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. And uh, stay tuned for some more uh, outside contracting style videos, I guess, if you want to call it like that. Um, and also, make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com. Get your entries for the loaded toolbox giveaway. And I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. See you. Bye.